Greetings from Google Academy UK, y'all. The easiest way to get WordPress on Google Cloud Platform for free for life. These are the scores that we generate, and it costs what well, I spent fifteen dollars thus far on this entire site and everything. So what this video is about is slightly off thing. It's about Elementor now. I heard many people in forums and on YouTube and everywhere saying that the moment you put Elementor activated on your site, your, your scores crash. So this is basically Google Compute Engine where my WordPress is. This is my virtual machine. This is a snapshot where you create a backup. These are apps and services that are running. Compute Engine, things like that, what we've got here. DNS zone that we set up. And this is an ebook, and right, so here now is littlemischg.art. Right in the back end, as we can see again, littlemischg.art, what we do have is a 2020 theme, as we've just seen there, Bob Standard 2020 theme. Look, I've not even bothered taking all this off because I'll be deleting this VM again in a minute and then redoing it to do a screen snips for said ebook that's soon to come out let's have a look what we got there you go wordpress host on google cloud platform free for life grades like this so again we just uh, pop into here when you do first install it you're gonna have lots of you have about nine plugins that become installed with it pre-installed what i generally do is i slash them all out and i leave amp and jetpack by wordpress so as I was saying anyway, without further ado, a <laughs> bog standard page with let's see edit with Elementor. So we can see Elementor's in action. Alright, edit with Elementor. Um we'll add an image. We've got that one there, so what we'll do is just to show that it is genuine. I'll delete that. Then we'll add a new image. Let's go see what we can find. Upload files. Let's see. WordPress will do. It's not so quick a lot of this happens as well compared to when you're hosting in some other pants places. Alright, so you can see this is a look. We've got padlock and everything. If you've not seen how to set all this up and this is your first video, you really need to go have a look at hosting WordPress on Google Cloud Platform for free. I've done a 29 minutes video and I'm about to do one that will be like about 15 minutes, but it'll just literally be like click type, pause while it waits for things to enable. So as we now see, we've got this. Let's just go have a, look, a fresh look at the domain. Make sure it's come through. I might have the wrong page set as the home page because that's a privacy policy. There we go, so we've got a WordPress logo and everything. And now if we go and we have a look, uh, wrong one, sorry. Come on. It seems to be both the same. Well done. All right, let's switch URL and let's go. Actually, let's do the, let's pull it straight out here. Isn't it? So I'm not typing it all. Copy that. So like I said, this is total fresh. One picture added, Elementor, AMP, and what was the other M? Jetpack. Let's see what scores up. They were stay the same, otherwise, it's delete. Oh, performance has gone down to 84. Look. And certain things, like for instance, I would say on this one, it just mimic them or what? It seems to just mimic the same and the same thing. Look. Hmm. So on my where it's up in 90s, what I would do with this is you follow further in the lessons, for instance, this image won't just be dumped into WP Media in here, which, one second, we can see the padlock stayed now from the earlier videos we were all talking about, you lose the padlock. But like we can see at the minute, this is stored here, whereas if I go into, let's see, One second, leave it here, With these, I've offloaded them with a load balancer and a plugin called Stateless, which does a fantastic job. 
it's very easy to set up and again it is in the videos where I do this but as we see with my media I should have really gone to my stateless settings let's see we can see it's going to HTTP storage apps instead which speeds my site up tremendously so as you can see I've got you know quite a few images and everything all over the site uh, let's see so if we let's delete this and see without any pictures if that makes any difference <coughs> what I should do really is which one am I in here there right delete permanently okay delete this one permanently so we haven't got any images whatsoever weighing anything down Alright, so then, let's have another look, see if it'll do it fresh, if it comes back exactly the same. And this is, I'd say, that, you know, if it comes back in the 90s with just the, the plugins and no images, then, well, there we go, we've gone up to 89, look. So, to have installed, you know, I've gone down from, we was a 94, I think, originally. And then if you go try... GT Metrics may be a good one just to keep it in the 90s. Oh, I got it in there. Oh, what? Yeah. Right. You know, cause this test ain't as far as web.dev. You can you can score 90s on here and go look at it on web.dev sometimes, and it's like 50 or something. Whoa, don't be showing anyone that then, isn't it? <laughs> Point to lots of GT Metrics. But there we go, look, page speed, you know, we don't care about the Yahoo. And the thing is, at the moment, Yahoo are saying, here yeah, look, use a content delivery network, right? Because I've not offloaded the media. Now, if we go and try, bear with me a second. I should have just compared it, really, but let's have a look where you are. There you are, buddy. We try this one, even though I'm not using a content delivery network. When I last tried it on here, well, I am, it's like I'm offloading the media. But on another site where we were offloading the media, it didn't, the Yahoo didn't pass the CDN test. But yesterday this one did, so hopefully I don't end up looking like a fool now and it's like, no CDN. Well done, Yahoo. Aside from that, Yahoo always hijacks me with the search thing as well. You go to Google and all of a sudden it's a secure search. Here we see 99 and 95. And like I said, Gutenberg 2020. If we went to Y here, look, we can see that we pass 100 for using the content delivery network, even though, you know, we're not on cloud fronts or anything like that. It recognizes the fact that all this media and it's fully loaded time for, you know, if we have a look, we've got the big, heavy, rich background image. We've got all this sort of stuff here. What has happened? That stopped working, so I've got to go back into my photo.php and look at why that's changed. But not to take it off track, what you know, what was let's have a look again to let's compare the full miss art and see. But we were showing like you know, 90 weren't it? Uh, the full miss g dot art, sorry. But we were showing 90 weren't it? So from a fresh install, Elementor. You know, it does not affect, might bring you down 3-4%, you know, versus mine. But like I said, with this, I have gone to the trouble of offloading the media to so many different projects at the minute. Let's have a look. Google Academy. I'll just show you what I'm on about here. So if you follow the lessons, you'll be doing this as well. Let's have a look down here, storage. Do I want to load balance first? What? Alright, load balancer. If you, if you don't know what a load balancer is, basically we create a bucket and then we create a load balancer which allows it to be distributed around the world with the CDN here. I'll show you that in a moment. But we can see here, I didn't use the HTTPS one, but if we, if we notice this here, look, cloud CDN enabled. This is probably what passes that. So, whereas a lot of people straight away throw the site onto, is it CloudFront or Cloudflare? Should remember that but i was mixing up but anyway there's no point because these google servers are top notch as you can see with the scores come on let's have a look at the comparison right so we're looking at an 84 and 72 on here and i'm sure i said 90 minute grower but still 
you know, the scores are not terrible, especially if you then look at offloading your media, you know, because then with the CDN, you bring these scores up, like with Wise Slow, I mean, that's, uh, where's the content delivery network there? Is it? Anyone see it before me? Just anything, yeah, so there, look, there we go. So if we did that, we'd bring that up to 100. So that would bring us Y slow up. And, you know, things like you can also use plugins if you want. But, so what What would I really say? But in this instance, you can, you know, score highly with Elementor from the start. It's not going to crash everything. But if you've got a really heavy theme, that crashes things from the very start. And then you start adding other things to it can't really blame them and <clears throat> anyway if you found that interesting thank you for watching i've got other videos and a lot of them are like nerdy google stuff basically all this stuff in here and how to get your free vm for life you know your free website which i will say again you know i am standing by this this is a build this is just i haven't even started with this that's brand new but if we then i'll tell you what before we sign off, why don't we remove and deactivate Elementor and see what happens to these scores minus Elementor. We might be able to actually still compare it in there. Now, this is quite annoying here because I seem to always have to remove that backslash to get to WP Admin. Plugins. So, deactivate. Uh, other. Testing. Testing speed, buddy. I wonder if he'll save a video. Anyway, this is a good one for your elements because you know it's not terrible crashing things, is it? And you know yourself, so once you start bringing other things in to refine it, or you know, WP Rocket, things like that, you bring them scores back up into the 90s. I've, I've built sites on elements and had them in the 90s anyway, so I know it's, it's more than possible to have both. Uh, scores in the 90s let's have a look so that's that gone mm, a quick refresh right so we'll go back to web dev and we'll run the audit again so still 89 look i mean 89 192 92 can't mind you bring that up one year in green all we want to see is the green We're not bothered if it's at 90 or 100 we like to see the green. Come on, buddy. There you go. So now, we, you know, Elementor dropped it two points. Yep, 2%. That is all Elementor cost. And for what you can do with Elementor, that's brilliant. So again, before you all run off buying this certain theme, booking theme, buying theme, selling theme, whatever theme, yeah, start looking at things like their themes and using maybe advanced conditional fields and building your own little databases when you build your own specific little databases yeah you ain't overloading it with over 18 databases in the demos and all that sort of thing steer clear of demos find the right kind of channels we will show you how to spend very little how to build these sorts of brilliant things and anyway it's gone you know we're ending at 13 minutes now highly recommend elementor you lose two percent and then on that two percent again if you start offloading your media as i've sure as i discussed earlier yeah you bring that two percent up if i offloaded the media and everything on this site it is now i bet i can bring it up to like 95 97 you know it's not a problem seo here a lot of people oh you know add your store rank map no put your meta stuff in your editor php or wherever it goes and these are other things i'll show you as we go through don't use plugins when you can use code I'll show you how to, you know, put code into things like functions PHP. I'll put your Google Analytics into your editor PHP. I'll increase your WordPress memory size, maximum post upload size, and that's it now. So if you have stuck with me to the end, thank you for watching and love from Ramsgate, United Kingdom. Stay safe, get sage, love with WordPress and Google Cloud Platform. Ah, that's not real.